Look at that. Ooh, delicious, delicious, delicious. I don't know if y'all can hear the crunch. Mm. But this is so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy, juicy. Welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. We are getting ready to fry a whole chicken. We're not using any oil, no batter, no breadcrumbs. We're going to do it on top of the stove. Now, I've done this before, but the last time I did it, I only did with chicken thighs. And I had so many people asking me, can I do it with the legs? Can I do it with the wings? Can I do it with breast? So today, I'm going to show you how to do it with everything. Now, I have a whole chicken here. I am going to cut my chicken up. However, you can buy chicken that is already cut up if you want. But for me, the price is double when I do that. So why not just go ahead and cut it myself? It's real easy to cut the chicken up uh, yourself. So that's what I'm going to do first. And after we get it all cut up, the next thing I'm going to do is put it in my refrigerator for a couple of hours to allow it to dry out. We need it to dry out. Now, if you're going to cut your chicken up like I am doing right here, you wanna make sure that you have good sharp knives. Nothing worse than trying to cut something up with a knife that is not sharp. That's when you run into injury. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish cutting this chicken up and we'll go from there. Now that we have our chicken cut up, before we put it in the refrigerator, because once it goes into the refrigerator, we don't want to mess with it too much after that because we want it to stay nice and dry. And our hands are warm sometimes. I'm going to take this as a thigh and it's relatively straight, but I am going to cut it in a couple of slits right on each side of the bone. Do not cut it all the way through. What you're doing is you're making sure that it's going to lay flat in your skillet. So you just wanna cut it just like that in a couple of places. That's gonna let it lie flat. We need that contact with the skin. I'm gonna wash it off after I do this. Now for the legs, this is the important part because the legs go all the way around, but we're still going to cut a slit in the leg to help it lay flat with the skin. That is going to help that thigh cook. You want that skin to lie flat. So I just cut it through that's going to ensure that we get that crispy skin all the way around. You don't have to cut it all the way through, just cut it enough so that the skin can lay flat. It should look like this, just like that. Now our breast, this is half of the breast and all of the chicken has skin. So we still wanna make sure that this skin is flat. So we're gonna go into the sides here and make a couple of slits on the side, letting that side lay flat in the skillet. That's all you need to do. Make sure those lay flat. And for our wings, we're not going to cut these at all. We're going to depend on them being flat. This is why we tuck the wing under. If it sits up like that, it's going to sit up like that. It's going to cock up like that. So we want to tuck that wing behind there in order to render this part of the skin. That allows the wing to lay flat, just like that. Okay. I am going to get my chicken wash off. And after that, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I have just washed all of my chicken off. I know that's a controversial subject. Some people wanna wash it, others don't. I do, you do you. So the next thing we need to do is take a plate and you wanna put double paper towels over it. We need to dry this chicken off as much as possible. Then we're going to make sure that we put it in the refrigerator, skin side up, so that it can continue to dry out. This is a leg. Just take your paper towel, another paper towel, not the one you're laying it on, another paper towel, and make sure you get in there really, really good and dry it off. That's going to help it continue to dry in the refrigerator. Dry it off, especially that skin side. That's the most important side to dry off. You wanna make sure you put it on paper towels so any excess liquid can run into the paper towels and then just lay it on the paper towel like that and you will use a lot of paper towels but it's worth it in my book okay <laughs> 
Okay, so my chicken is in the refrigerator. And I just wanna make a side note before you guys come after me in the comments. I know a lot of you are gonna say, watch the knife as I was cutting the chicken, especially when I had my cleaver and I had the thigh and the leg up and I was cutting down like this. I am well aware of exactly what I was doing. I have been cutting up whole chickens like that since I was 12 years old. That is the way I was taught to do it by my mother. It's been, I can't count how many years, <laughs> and I have not cut myself yet. I just want to say it's not that it can't happen, but it looks worse than it is from your view, okay? <laughs> I exactly know, I know exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, our chicken is just about ready. It's been in the refrigerator for about an hour drying out. Please don't skip that step. But if you don't have time to let it sit in the refrigerator for about an hour, dry it off really, really well. You saw me drying it off. Go back and dry it off again. I can't stress that enough. Now, a couple of things you will need to accomplish this. You will need a skillet with the top. It needs to be a non-stick skillet. I am getting ready to use my hex clad skillet. Hex clad is a combination of cast iron, stainless steel, and non-stick. So I'm using this. <laughs> Most of you all know I am a die-hard cast iron person, actually. However, yes, cast iron is non-stick. Yes, you can use your cast iron skillet to make this. However, you will have to watch that chicken like a hawk, okay? Because that cast iron skillet is going to come up to temp, is going to hold that temp, and you can't get it back down quick enough, okay? So it's a little bit more trickier to do in a cast iron skillet. But if you wanna try it, do you. Just don't tell me I didn't warn you. Another thing, the only thing we're putting on this chicken is going to be salt and pepper. Okay, if you don't want to use salt, you can omit it or just use it to your taste. So there's not going to be an ingredient list because this is the ingredient list. Okay, a lot of people will want to know, can I add some garlic powder and everything? First of all, this tastes, this chicken is going to be so flavorful without anything else. It's going to be amazingly delicious. I'm just telling you. However, we must start in a cold skillet. The chicken needs to be placed in a cold skillet and it needs to bring up to tip. If you use a powder, garlic powder, onion powder, anything like that, it will have the tendency to burn while it's coming up to temp before it gets there all the way, okay? I am not even using my Pam's Prep all-purpose seasoning. So you know, if I am not using it, my own all-purpose prep seasoning, there is a good reason, okay? But if you don't have yours, I'll link this at the end of the video. So, salt and pepper is all we do. Now, why don't I have the chicken out here? That's another thing. Once you bring your chicken out and you get ready to put the salt and pepper on it, you want to be ready to go to the stove because the chicken will become moist and wet again. Once you put salt on it, it will start to release moisture. So, you want to make sure you put that salt on it right before you get ready to put it in the skillet. So, without further ado, Let's head to the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper it now. I have not turned my skillet on yet. Salt, put a little pepper on here. Now we're going to put this in the skillet, skin side down, just like that, okay? Even your breast has skin on it. Make sure that skin is facing down, okay? That's why we cut it so that it can lay flat. Same thing with your leg here. We cut it so that it can lay as flat as possible, okay? On the wing, put the tip side down first. Make sure that tip side is down. And this is a chicken heart, and yes, I'm cooking it. Now, this piece doesn't really have any skin on it, so we're just gonna put it in here. Now that we have our chicken in the skillet, we're going to turn our stove onto medium high heat. Put your stove on medium high heat, whatever temperature that is for you. And at this point, take the top and cover it. Cover it. If you don't have a top, use some foil or use the top from another pot or use whatever you can, but you will need to cover it. We're going to let this come up to tip and cook, covered like this, for about 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, we are at the 10 minute mark. So now we want to take our top 
pop off. Don't touch it. Don't do anything. I am going to season this side. I didn't season it before because I wanted some of that oil to release before I put any seasoning on my chicken. So just go ahead and season this side. Do not turn it over. Don't turn it over at this point. Leave it just like this for another 10 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, we are at the second 10 minute mark. Now we're going to turn it over, still leaving it uncovered. This is a piece of breast. Look at that golden brown. We're gonna turn it all over and continue to cook for probably another 10 minutes or until it's cooked through. Okay, we are done. Let me show you this looks good, looks good, looks good. Look at that. That's a thigh. Look how nice and crispy that is. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Let me show you the wing up close. Let me show you both sides. This is the secondary side. Ooh, it's different. This is the secondary side, and this is the first side. This is a wing. Look at the leg, look at the leg. Secondary side, first side with the skin. Piece of breast. Look at how nice and juicy that is. Look at the other side. Oh my goodness. Okay, now the one thing we have to do at this point, I have already turned my skillet off. And we need to Go ahead, cool it. So I'm going to let it cool for a few seconds and then I'm going to wash it because we have to start with a, this is another piece of breast. Everybody wanted to know how the breast comes out. This is how the breast comes out. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so remove this from the hot eye. I'm gonna wash it and we'll be right back. Okay. Your skillet must be cold. If you cannot put your hand in your skillet like that, unless you're using two separate skillets, it needs to be absolutely cold, okay? Because I have an electric stove, I moved it from that eye to prepare it so that it won't get that hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt this up and we're gonna place it again, skin side down, in the skillet. And after we sit it down in the skillet, then we'll put it back over there because if you have a gas stove, you cut that heat and it's cut. But unfortunately, with an electric stove, it doesn't work quite work that way. So therefore, we have to take it off the stove so it won't warm up while we're preparing. So we're going to place the chicken down in here. Again, make sure you place it skin side down. For each piece. Then we will turn it back on our stove setting. And this is a piece of back and it's kind of large and that's fine. Now we go back to the stove and we can turn it on from here. Again, you want it on medium high heat. For me, because I'm using this hex clad, that's gonna be about six and a half to seven. Oh, I'm sorry, that's gonna be about six to six and a half. Okay, again, we are now going to immediately cover it up. Ooh, okay guys, we are done, we are done. Look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. Crispy, crunchy, fried chicken. We didn't use any oil, we didn't use any batter, we didn't use any breadcrumbs, and we did this on top of the stove. Ooh, let me bring you all in closer so you can hear the crunch. Ooh, look guys. You hear that crispiness? Oh my goodness, look at that. Ooh, 
delicious, delicious, delicious. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. My skin back on there. Ooh, look guys, mm, 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 mm. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Returning subscribers, thank you so much. And channel members, thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all. Oh, okay. I'm going to cut this piece in down a little bit so I won't be chewing all day. Oh, my goodness. Dropping it. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Juicy. Mm, mm, mm. Mmm. Drop my skin. Mmm. 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 I don't know if y'all can hear the crunch. Mmm. But this is so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy, juicy. So easy. Mmm. Time for me to go and eat. Mm, mm, mm. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye-bye.